The issue with that is that you have to manually shut and no shut the port to get it working again. Another problem here is the first MAC address that's learnt is determined to be the right MAC address. So first device that connects to the network, that is the device that's allowed. You're not configuring which MAC address is the right MAC address. It's simply the first MAC address that sends traffic. As soon as another device sends traffic, the port is shut down. Another issue here is the configuration is not saved. So if I plug in my device today, that's deemed to be the right MAC address. But if that times out or the port goes down and then you plug in your device, then your MAC address is determined to be the right MAC address. So this is not necessarily ideal in all situations. You may manually configure a MAC address. You may want to save that information so that if the switch reboots, it still remembers which MAC address is permitted on a port.